Good afternoon, McLaren. Good afternoon, 458. Good afternoon, Billy's 458. Good afternoon, Macan. And good afternoon, Huracan. But this right here, this is what I really love. That sounds so good. This is a 2008 997 GT3. This is an immaculate condition. It's got 17,000 miles on it. It is ceramic coated. I do believe, yep, it's got PPF on it. This is a this is a beautiful car. It doesn't have the roll cage in it, but this car has been really well maintained throughout the years. I love, love agate gray on this car. It will never look bad to me. But you can just see the stance of this car. It's perfect in my opinion. I do believe it's lowered just a hair. I'm not sure what. It does have a fab speed exhaust. Nate, no, it doesn't have headers. Yeah, literally just fab speed. Huh? Nice. Vince just did a POV driving of this car. That'll be up soon, but this is, oof. Sheesh! So like I said, they've got the transmission out. This is the clutch pedal, and he's got these box for the actual shifter. Dan is feeling quite the pose right now. There you go. Good lord. Don't mind me. These F430 headers. Dang! He got my brand new. Those, they, those, oh. So my, those broke. They blew out the O2 bonds. Yeah. And then I had my set. So you so organ again, donored once again. <laughs> again. I gave him my brand new one. So back off fast feet. Wait, so why is he bringing this RS know. back? Man, I don't know. <laughs> Always a big. So Evan's cleaning out the gearbox. Did you already replace the slave? No, nah, I just be cleaning it. I don't work on dirty things. Oh, okay. Me either. <laughs> Do we need this? What? I'm replacing it. Can we just rip it out of there? Got two bolts out, and we may be able to come from the side and get that one. Yeah. This one. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go back over here. Good. 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 Hey, go to Robert's side. Turn the layer. Wait, hey, how you doing? Great. So Billy has decided to bring his cup car back over to finish it. He's got the carbon fiber 991 style RS fenders, new headers and exhaust system for it. He's got his wheels that he's going to put on. The HRE's from the last car. They're going <gasps> to... That's Jose! Hi! He's putting in work after hours and, um, and then obviously you got interior pieces left to do. And obviously you got to get it started. But yeah, that car is back. Shockingly. The problem is, I don't like how big the new key keepers are. I really like the way these look, but I want them to look like a little bit more modern. So you put the big wing on it, you put the vented fenders, do a little bit of custom arrow. You got yourself a modern classic. Yeah. I really do. I love the new key keepers, but they're just so big. I hate how big they are. It's not really wide. Yeah, I don't like it. I like mean, this, they look good. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but like this thing is like the perfect size car. Yeah, it's wide enough, but it's not. Maybe, I might just be a grandpa too, man. You're getting old, man. Maybe I'm stubborn. 30 hits you. Yeah, like maybe I'm just stubborn. I, just, <laughs> I don't want these hybrid cars. I don't want an automatic. I don't want a PDK. I just want my old manual gearbox. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a redneck. And it's funny, because I'm not even really from here, but I basically am from here, because the place like kind of dumps <gasps> Anybody know how this goes? Yeah, you s here, put the kickstand up. You gotta push it to give it a little... Hey, no, not with your phone. Not This thing gets oh. up to speed. Okay. Bye. You haven't even seen my 993, have you? No, because it's been in the spray booth for six years. Yeah, I know. Mean, that thing ever gets done, that thing's gonna be sick. What are you doing, turbo or no? Everything. Turbo, fully built engine. Dang. Even the steering rack is powder coated. Like. Dang, boo! Yeah, it's. You gonna have a semi build? I don't know what it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be a trailer park build. The rate I'm going. It's gonna be the double wide of the trailer park I build. Think it's gonna be something. So there's a trick here. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get to those bolts without taking this whole radio out of the way because I just like to do as little as possible and get by. You can hardly see that. There's two right there. Not even that. Oh. Look how pretty it is. 
That's a power stance if I've ever That's seen one. I was literally just thinking about my stance right now. That's what HBI should be known for. It's just everyone wears Yeezys at work. Robert, you need some Yeezys. What is it? Yeezys. It's a style of shoe. You know, my birthday is March 26th. I'll tell you what, it might show up. You never know. Oh my god, Santa? Santa comes off for him. It's just a clip. You want to. Alright, let's see it. Here, I got this. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's got me thunder, man. Then, yeah. Oh, it, it has. That's how. That's it, how. Did, it didn't have this finishing factor. No. I should say it didn't have these. Unless it just fell on out. Oh, there it goes. There's some kind of hose. I get it. Them damn hose. Evan, Evan took this shimmy nuggins apart, Which so. Means I'm never gonna be honest, if these even fit, I'm going to be extremely impressed. Yeah, he is. How bad is that down there? Alright, I'm gonna take a middle picture of the tools you got. Yeah. <laughs> Let's mess with you. Alright. All right. Oh, I like that. Oh, I thought it was. The easiest thing to do is get off the car. You passed math class. Actually, I was terrible math. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. Because I didn't care about it. But here, I like doing it because it helps me out. So this is going to be quite interesting. That's a... Because what's going to happen here is you're going to discover that there's a lot of brackets and holes that are not here that should be here. But that's alright. There we go. It's kind of trying to fit. Or at least this part fits. Airbag sensor. There's no... At least they give you dimples. What is this? This is plastic bolt holes that aren't here. See them? They're not even there yet. We need those there. Um, we don't have this there either. It would be right here. To drill a hole there. Um, but we're getting the explanation of the modifications. Alright, so what uh, bag sensor on? Yeah, so this is the airbag sensor. Um, there was no provision, so I just drilled this out, put two six millimeter bolts in. Uh, the headlight bracket went in extremely easy. The fender support bracket, drilled a hole and put a bolt in. And then this is the splash shield for the fender. That went on well, just drilled three holes. This looks like it's going to be challenging, and this looks like it's going to be challenging. So I'm debating on cutting out the metal bracket for the gas cap mounting that one on yep and fusing it into this panel here but i'm not sure yet don't think about it um it's been a minute since i've done fab work so I just want to make this nice and clean but i also don't want to spend too much time on it because it's just it's not going to be perfect but it's probably going to be better than most yeah so far uh it does not fit as a bolt-on but it's not to the point where i would be like i would not buy this fender if i wanted this look so it is viable so far Although it's not going to bolt on just fit. You're you're probably going to have, probably if you're paying somebody to do these, at least $10,000 or more to make them fit. So. Holy God. Yeah, because right here, if you look at the fins, mm -hmm. the carbon looks fine, but if you move back, the mold itself is a little bit rough. Yeah, um, what? Wait. Yeah. So they're going to have to finish that up and clean it up. Um, but like I said, I mean, if you want this look... And you have, you know, $250,000 car, $10,000 is still a lot of money, but... You get the look. It might be worth it to some people. And me, in this case, it is. So, the biggest challenge I have is uh, getting this mounted here. Um, it's going to be challenging. So, um, which, it doesn't even look like the whole line, so we got to figure that out, too. So, I don't know. I've got to basically make this thing fit and not drill the hole without getting the offset correct, so... In order to drill this, for one, it needs to fit there. For two, it needs to line up. So, I mean, who knows, I may have to open up the hole. Uh, 